Hey, you want a cup of coffee? Sure. The rumor is that the mill might reopen. We'll get our old jobs back. Okay. What's the problem? It's no problem. Only... We'll hear you read it. So? Hey, there's room for one more. How old is she? 18, 19. How much trouble could she be? Yeah, I'm all for it. That's probably dying. Dinah, hear the news? They say the mill's going to reopen again. Oh, shit. I'm not looking forward to sitting behind that loom again. Just when my fingernails are beginning to look nice. <laughs> what you say? Probably singing in the bathtub. She does that sometimes. Oh. Sounded like she was in pain. Oh. She's a lousy singer. Well, I better go. I gotta sign up for unemployment. Oh, yes. Thanks for the coffee. Yeah, yes. sure. <laughs> Anytime. him off in a few minutes. I got him right where I want him. Oh, bullshit. <clears throat> Tell me about her. About who? Your cousin. What's she like? I don't know, Rose. Uh, she lived with us four years while her mama was laid up sick, but uh, I don't really remember what she's like. She's 14 when she went back to her mama. She's bound to be different. You don't want her to come, do you? Where did you hear that rumor about the mill reopening? That guy, Lane. The milkman. The white knight? You know, the white knight. Well, that's what the women around here call him. It's uh, sort of a code name. Hmm. But why the white knight? Well, he always dresses in white. And he certainly carries a big white lamp. Get it? <laughs> big? <laughs> what means big? Well, he's really nice, you know. He's really got a nice prick. How do you know so much? You made love with him? Don't I wish. No, he likes older women. He's only done it with half the women in the neighborhood. Hey, has he climbed into you yet? No. And he better never try nothing like that, neither. I've got my man, and he's good enough for me. You know, for someone who lets me bring my boyfriends here to fuck, you're pretty square. 
Hey, you sort of like the idea, don't you? It kind of turns you on, right? Hey, you. Just feel lucky that me and Alice lets you use this place. For immoral purposes and all. We just feel sorry for you. That's all. Your ma being so strict and all. Yeah. Ma is pretty strict. Do you know how I know so much about the milkman's prick? Well, Mama thought I was out. He came over and, and slipped her some select egg whites right on the living room couch. <laughs> it just didn't go down. It was just as stiff as when Ma first put her mouth around it. Good morning, Ms. Walden. an extra quart of milk left over this morning. And I sure hate to take it back to the dairy. Uh, would you like it? Of course. I'll take it. Put it on our bill. Oh, there's not going to be any charge for it. It'd just go to waste anyway. Have a nice morning now. Well, he better not try nothing on me. Well, if I can seduce him, can I bring him here? I suppose so. Hi. I'm looking for... Allison! Oh, it's so good to see you, Allison. Oh. Uh, this is my housemate and friend, Rose Volar, Matilda. Uh, hi. <laughs> and we got two men living with us, too, uh, our fiancés. Oh, Alice Ann. Oh, well, if you don't have the room for me. I mean, well, I guess I could find someplace else to stay. Oh, we got plenty of room for you. Everything's all set. <laughs> Matilda, you're very welcome here. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be real pleasant. <laughs> to get ready for bed. She ain't going to be no trouble. I can't sleep. My cunt's all wet. I need something. At least suck my tits. afternoon. I hope we weren't too noisy. Never heard a thing. I slept. Hey, you look flushed. Do you have a fever or something? Hmm. Boy, what a prick that boy has. <laughs> Oh, I hope it don't upset you if I talk about this afternoon. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. Mm. 
His prick is so long and nice. When I got on top of him, I could just force myself down and make the head wedge against the very depth of my insides. With each stroke, I just shiver and melt. And Dinah, oh, she'd suck on my nipples, bite. Wow, I just get horny thinking about it. <laughs> hey, you better stop talking about it. You make me hot. Mm -hmm. I'll rape Norman as soon as he steps through that door. I'm not dressed for visitors. Rose. Lane and Dinah would like to visit with you for a while. <laughs> but I'm a mess. Oh, I don't think they mind. I wish I had a deck of cards or something that we could do. Don't you knock no more. Oh, Rose. I'm sorry you got upset. How can I face Norman? After what I've done this afternoon. Oh, come off it. Norman would fuck me in a minute if he had half a chance. I ought to slam you across the face. Norman wouldn't touch you with a... You can't. Now, what I do that for? It only adds to the shame. Get out of here. Get out of here and leave me alone. Alisanne's pie used to grow cucumbers like these. When we were kids, we'd skin one and we'd fuck it all night. <laughs> what fantasies Alisanne would have. What fantasies I'd have. Each of us was both a male and a female creature as we slid up and down on the slippery wet shaft. Well, our roles change with each and every push. Shame and guilt, Rose, were washed away in the flood of our juices. You ought to get together with Alice Ann. She's an expert washing away guilt. Why, even when we were 11, well, she knew how to rinse mine away. Oh, God. It was great. It just seemed like my whole insides opened up. I'm ready for anything now. <laughs> After I finish with Norman tonight... I'm going to have me a series of wet dreams. Good night, girls. <laughs> <laughs>